Are you new to HubSpot and need to add new users to your HubSpot hub? Or maybe you've been using HubSpot for a while and your team has grown. Woo! And now you need to get your teammate in your HubSpot hub along with you to get some work done. Either way, in this tutorial, we're gonna walk you through how to add a single HubSpot user as well as how you can add several users with a bulk upload. While we're in the portal, we'll also touch on HubSpot user permissions, user roles, and teams inside your HubSpot hub. Are you ready to rock and roll? Then hey, you know what time it is. Are you a HubSpot user looking for fun and interactive education that helps you be better at HubSpot? Then welcome to Sprocket Talk. That's right, it's your boy George B. Thomas from SprocketTalk.com bringing you at another HubSpot educational video. If you're a sales, marketing, or service professional looking to learn more about HubSpot and inbound strategies to make your business grow, then guess what? you're in the right spot. Make sure you subscribe to keep learning more and use the comment section below to ask us all the inbound and HubSpot questions that you may have. Now, without further ado, let's get in to the good stuff. So maybe you're new to HubSpot or maybe you have new people, but that's why we're here, adding users to your HubSpot portal. And what we can do is simply go over to the settings icon, the little gear here. And once we click on that, we're gonna see that our settings page will load in HubSpot and our eyes should come over to this left-hand navigational area because if we scroll down, we're gonna see that there's a section that is users and teams. We're gonna go ahead and click on that and then we're gonna see our main users, teams, and roles section here. Now, teams and roles is something that you'll dive in a little bit later, but first you have to actually add the user. First thing we wanna do is see if we have the user in our HubSpot already. So I'll do a search for George, and we have one user named George Thomas with the email address that is here, but we want to add another user, and so we can do that. We'll go ahead and over here, and we will say create user. Once we click that, we get a slide in. It says create new user one at a time. And we can add a new user to your HubSpot account with an email address. But notice down here too, you can create multiple users at once using a CSV file. So you would click that and be able to do that. In this case, we'll go ahead and just add one and we'll add the email in real quick. So we've added in George at georgebthomas.com and we will go ahead and click next. Notice we are on now the permissions section and this is where we want to think of a couple of things. Should George at georgebthomas.com be part of a team? If so, we can assign them to a team right here with a drop down. So in this case, we'll go ahead and say that he should be part of the Sprocket Talk team. And is there any additional teams? We could select that down here. In this case, we'll just say no. And then is there a role? So notice there's demo and super admin, but you can go ahead and hover over this and you can actually select a role to apply to the user and you can create custom roles in your HubSpot portal. Next, you're gonna see that we have contacts. This is really gonna allow all users to have basic level of access and the permissions below will apply to the contacts, companies, and deals areas. So you've got view, what can they view? And notice if you hover over these, you do get some kind of bits of information that help you along the way. What can they communicate? what can they edit and notice under this drop down we've got everything team only and owned by so if you just want them to be able to communicate with folks that they are the contact owner you can do that if you want them to be able to view things from a perspective of the team you can do that if you want to give them carte blanche and do everything well you can do that as well notice as we scroll down though you're going to see crm settings uh, can they bulk delete? Do you want to have that on? Can they import contacts? You can turn that off if you don't want them to be able to do that or on if you want them to. Can they export information? Can they work with the workflows tool or edit property settings? So notice you can get pretty granular here just on this main section. Now after that, you have these tabs where you can go in and even get more granular. So we could say marketing. What things do we want them to be able to publish, write, or read? Notice, set permissions for access to marketing publishing tools. A user must have write or publish access at least one of the marketing tools in order to access the calls to action tool. But notice here we've got ads, the blog, the email, the landing pages, the website pages, HubDB. URL redirect, social publishing. There's just a ton that you can get very granular on here. Below that, you're gonna see 
Can they interact and use lists or forms or reporting? Do we want them to be able to edit code, templates and modules, edit global content, content staging, edit the website settings, edit global theme settings, or even asset marketplace access? Again, notice we can give them very granular permissions of what we want them to be able to do. The same story holds true across sales and across service you're gonna see. So contacts, marketing, sales, and service. Under this more, you're gonna see reports. Most of you won't see partner or admin. Most of you will probably just see reports in that tab. So that's pretty much how you set the permissions, the team, and the role that you want this contact to have. Now, I will say we did an entire video on making somebody a super admin, but I will show that if you wanna make them a super admin, you can click this button. But in this case, you're gonna go through and you're gonna set the permissions for contacts, for marketing, sales, service, and reports, what you want them to be able to see. Once you've got that done, you're gonna go ahead and click next. And notice here too, one of the things we see, it says Teams speaking team. I actually wanted to do Sprocket Talk so I can come down here and still change that and hit apply. So notice you have the ability to change that team before you finish with the invite. But notice it says invite your team to HubSpot, send them a friendly invitation with everything they need to get started and you simply hit send. And guess what? Did you like this video? Then head over to sprockettalk.com for more actual and tactical HubSpot user resources. No, oh, really head over there. It's a cool place. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell as well for instant notifications and so that we know that you're part of the Sprocket Talk community. Until next time, when we see you in the next video, make sure you're focused on being a happy, helpful, humble human. And as always, make sure you're doing some happy HubSpotting.